We got the posse. Yeah. I set the trap. I set the trap. We got the posse. Yeah. I set the trap. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Captain Cobra's Cajun Cooking. Got a fantastic show lined up for you today. So what we're gonna do is, uh, everybody knows I'm a veteran. Uh, I'm very partial to veterans. And I'm out here with all the guys that I serve with in the Gulf War. And uh, we out here fishing. We get together every year, we do a fishing trip. So this is our annual fishing trip. Hopefully catch some fish. Might even make a little dinner with it. Uh, everything that we catch. So hang tight, stay tuned. We got second trip. Got a possum inside Boy, shake it from the back Got a possum in the sack, y'all Yeah, shake it from the back When she shake it like that, y'all When she shake it like that When she shake it like that, y'all I got the magic flag I got the magic flag, y'all Come with that baseball bat Look, this is what we got right here. How much you think we got? Oh, you got a good 10, 15 pounds. Oh yeah. Yeah. And listen, this shoe pick right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some uh shoe pick patties out of that. And uh the other half, we're gonna fry it just for a little snack, right? Alright, about to get with it. What's up everybody? Captain Cobra coming at you live from uh where we at? Lake Buff. Lake Buff over here around Raceland, Louisiana. And listen, we caught a, a ton of shoe pick out here. Y'all might not know what shoe pick is. We call it shoe pick. It's better known as a bow fin, right? Yeah. All right, and what we're gonna do is, since we caught so much, we're gonna fry a little bit, show you how to do that with a, a different recipe that we learned from Mr. Jared Lejean, right? Yes. All right, and we're also gonna make some shoe pick patties. Listen, if you don't know how to make that, if you never had that, y'all know Captain Kobe. When I make, when I eat something that I like so much, I gotta put him on the video. So here we are in the middle of Lake Buff. I never met this man before, but I ate his food. And let me tell y'all something, off the chain, all right? So I'm gonna share that with you guys today. We're gonna get with it, we're gonna get cooking. Yeah, let them know what we need. We, let's start out with the fried fish right there. What we need for our fried fish? Uh, we just need some regular old vegetable oil. We're gonna get that up. A little bit over around 225, 250. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna batter the, the shoe pick with some some mustard, and then we're gonna dip it in this uh this fish fry. Here. I like the mustard too, man. I always use the yeah. mustard. And uh, right. we're gonna put a little Captain Colby in our fish fry when we batter them. <laughs> Cause that's what make the magic happen, that's baby. Right. All right. All right. Listen, and, uh, I see we got a little secret ingredient right there. Let me know about that that shrimp ball that you put on there. Never gonna, put that in my fish. We're gonna put that in the potatoes and stuff whenever we uh. I, I absolutely, I love that. that. All right. And uh, that'll give it a little bit more season with the Captain Cole. I like that. Listen, that makes the magic happen. Trust me when I tell you all that. You don't even know. All we're right. Gonna, we're going to get the grease hot. And we're going to, after we batter them, we're going to dro drop them in the grease. And when they get golden brown and start floating, we're going to take them out. And let everybody burn their lips. All right. <laughs> good with that. And what you got right there for the uh, shoe pick batters? We're going we're gonna to ball the potatoes. And, and a couple of minutes before they finish balling, we're going to throw the fish in it with them and let the fish ball. And then we're gonna smash all that down with these smashes right here. Okay. And we're gonna put it all in the bowl. We're gonna season it up with Captain Kobe's again with some hot sauce, a little crab ball. All right. We're gonna squeeze some lemons in it. We're gonna put some uh, some Italian bread crumb with some uh, some egg, and, and we're gonna cut up some onions and, and bell peppers. So you got some lemons there too. Yeah. We're gonna squeeze the lemons in it, and, and uh, we're, gonna, like we're gonna make some patties, like some hamburger. We're gonna look like hamburger patties, and then we're gonna drop that in the hot grease, and we're gonna fry them. And, all right. Listen, and you need some red potatoes. I like red potatoes. We call that Irish potatoes, right, man. So we're gonna get some red potatoes. You do it with the brown? Oh yeah, you can do it with the brown. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Today we're using red. All right, we're about to get with it. Stay tuned. That baseball bat. And one good thing about having a good cook, and I'm off. Captain Kobe gets to enjoy a little bit of Bud Light, whatever about it, right? <laughs> I like, it. yeah, I like. It. All right, look here. I had enough beers in me right now. Oh, Mr. Jarrett's cooking, uh, cutting everything up. I'm gonna start cutting some onions and bell peppers to get us ready to go. All right. 
Possum in the sack, you oh, oh. And she shake it from the back When she shake it like that, you oh, oh. When she shake it like that oh, fight. When she shake it like that, you oh, oh. fight. I got to match this plan Don't do it, Chief I love garlic We're just gonna throw some garlic in there just Cause we coon asses and everything gotta have garlic in it That ought to be plenty right there if you look, the potatoes and all are down in there with the onions, everything's gonna ball together. We're gonna ball these, when it comes to a ball, we're gonna ball them for about uh, 10 minutes and then we're gonna throw the fish in there with it. And then we, when it comes back to a ball, we're gonna ball it for about another seven minutes and then we're gonna mush all that up together with one of these potato mushrooms right here. And then we're gonna add all the other ingredients in it. And we're gonna make some patties or some boulettes and we're gonna fry them. Hey, listen, in case y'all didn't know, here in South Louisiana, that's a potato musher. Not a masher, musha. We musha. We musha. Right. Right. <laughs> I like that. All right, listen. What we're gonna do now is we're we'll get us some grease going in this pot. So while we're waiting and we having a few beverages, we get a little hungry. So while that's cooking and everything's going right here, we're gonna fry some fish, right? We're gonna fry us a little bit of shoe pit, okay? And uh, that way we can snack a little bit and then get our grease right and ready for when we get these uh, patties ready. Yep. Cook them up. Now you gotta look at this, man. This, look at all this pretty meat. It's all fresh, straight out the water. Yeah, listen, you gotta you gotta get that meat fresh, right? You let gotta go. you gotta get it fresh, cause if you don't get it fresh, and uh, you 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 let it die on you, it will get mushy. It's gonna get that's right. And then the only thing you can do with it is make patties. But the way that, the way that I do with it is when when I clean them, I got some ice water, and I put a cup of. The vinegar? Yeah, yeah, about a cooking spoon of vinegar in the water, and it keeps it, the meat firm, just like any other fish. As long as you keep it cold in that vinegar water, you're good to go. Yeah, if you let that fish die, you try to clean that. If it's been dead a couple hours, you try to clean that. That meat's gonna be real, real mushy. Yeah, even so, if you keep it on ice. Yeah, as you yeah. saw earlier in the video, we clean them things alive. <laughs> yeah, so part of goodness right there, it's just starting to come to a ball. We're gonna set our uh, our timer for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna throw the fish in there with it and let the fish ball too. For about another seven whenever that comes back to a ball. I'm ready. I'm ready too. They can't come fast enough. <laughs> so there's the 10 minute timer. She wants you to we'll go ahead and cancel that. She's biting you, yes. so play with it. Right. And uh, hey. we got our water still balling over here, but this these cold fish are gonna go ahead and kill the water. They're gonna kill the ball. But uh, we're going to add them in anyway. That water's going to ball over. But it's going to be all right. It'll just drain off the porch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good in camp, huh? And uh, then once it comes back to a ball, we're going to go ahead and set another timer for seven minutes, and then everything will cook together, and it should break up real easy when we put it in the pot and mush it down. Hey, listen, it don't get no better at the camp down here and down the bayou, right? No, man. We, I like it, but that's awesome. We, uh, even the phone reception is a little sketchy over here. That's, <laughs> that's, that's good. That's right. That's what you want at a camp. You don't want to be messed with. All right. Jerry, come give me a little hand right here, bro. Got, Everybody knows Captain Kobe likes his mustard. <laughs> I see Jared likes mustard, too. That's how we do it out here in yeah, South Louisiana, right? right? So go ahead and give me some Captain Cobras on that while we're getting that all up. Go on. And don't be scared to use it, baby. I like it. I like it here. I like it too. All right. All right. That's just the first bowl. We still got all oh, that yeah, left. Oh, yeah, we got all that left. <laughs> Plus all the meat we put in for the, uh, for the patties. So all right, what we're going to do is drop this in here. Open that for me. You got it. Shake them up. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Let yeah, the, let me give it a little bit more. Let the fat guy shake it. Huh? That's it. <laughs> I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. All right, we're rolling. Hey, listen. Fried shoe pick. A lot of people don't eat it. It is fantastic. Trust me when I tell you that. Oh, yeah. So the first piece out, we're going to go ahead and do a taste test, but first we're going to 
Got a little bit of that got gas. Dusted, got it dusted, baby. Got it dusted on there. And, uh, y'all see what that look like? All Let's nice see. and oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. If you never had fried shrimp, you ain't living. It's I'm here to tell it. It's good. It's to die for. Say bon. All right, so this is what it looks like after you ball it all and strain it out. Get a shot in right here. All right, as you can see, the potatoes are cooked down, and you can see this fish. It just falls apart. It just falls right apart. All right? We're going to take one of these, uh, these smashes right here. And mush it. Mush, mush, mush it, mush yeah. Right. We just gonna mush it up real good. Let me get that while you get them bread crust going on there. My mush this up. Why while he's doing that, we're gonna add a little bit more of this Captain Kobe right here. I'm gonna bring it, baby. That's what make the magic happen. I love it. Listen, you ain't got no Captain Kobe seasoning yet. Shame on you, you missing out. I think that's pretty good right there. I like it. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and move this out of the way. And, and, and I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon in. I got a couple more for you right here. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon juice up in there. Try not to get no seeds. Okay. Oh, I think we need at least two lemons. I like it. I don't think it's worth it. No, come on. Hold on, I got a seat right there. Come on. Perfect. Good enough. We're good. Yeah, so once that's good and mashed up real good, put a lemon in it. We got a little bit more Captain uh, Colby up in there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start pouring in some of this bread crumb in it. Come with it, baby. You know how much you put in there? You got to uh, measure, man. I just, I just put it in there until it all starts making a ball. Okay. So that it'll make a good meat ball, and then we can make the patties. Also, like to uh, crack an egg in there. I'm going to have to go walk and get an egg while you keep mixing okay. it up. Okay, I got it. We'll go ahead and put two eggs in it. I think, yeah, we got a lot right there. I think two is good enough. It's starting to look like it's starting to thicken, thicken up pretty good. We may put a little bit more uh, bread crumb. Bread crumb yeah. All right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right. Let me get my bushel. The cake look good. Good. That's a good sign. That's right. All you do from there is, uh, it'll probably be hot. Want to let it cool off a little bit? Yeah, we're going to let it cool off, and then we're going to make some patties from here. All right. All right, so, so far we got 24 patties made. We got them layered up in there, cooling off. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off with what they got. Yeah. Probably make two more out of this. It's our last round of fish, too. So that'll be perfect. So as soon as the fish is fr finished frying, we can start dropping in patties and frying them up. That's what we're waiting for. Shoot the patties, baby. There we go. Here's some patties. All right. The grease is all hot. We'll go ahead and drop them in. Yeah. Listen, make sure your patties are kind of thin. I kind of have to thin them up a little bit. Yeah, you bit. just want to kind of brown the top of that. And if it's thin, the thicker they are, they kind of want to fall apart a little bit. They don't stay together as much. So keep them thin as you can. And let that brown good on the top and bottom. You pull right out. Some of the best eating you ever had, I promise. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Some of the best eating down the bayou, you, baby, I promise you. All right, everybody, listen. We're about to throw down. If you ain't never had shoe pick patties, Shame on you, these things are fantastic. What y'all think, guys? Oh, oh, yeah, Listen, I want to thank Mr. Jared for having us out here, doing the video with us, cooking with us, sharing his camp with us, at a fantastic time. I want to thank all my buddies out here that served in uh, Desert Storm with me on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Thank you for their service. And uh, everybody keep cooking. We'll 
see y'all in the kitchen. Yeah. Now she all black.